Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie. We are doing Vlogmas and we are on Vlogmas day 19 at the moment. It's crazy. We are getting so close to Christmas. I cannot believe it. And in this video, we will be testing the new BH Cosmetics Christmas collection. So I do have the Naughty Palette, the Let It Glow Highlighter Palette. I actually have the Nice Palette, but I want to test the Naughty Palette. I don't know why. I just do. I may test the Nice Palette in another video if you really want me to. I don't mind. But I do want to test these, and especially the Gold Highlight called Tinsel. If you know me, you know how much I love a good highlight. And the gold one is just screaming my name. So we are going to swatch these highlights for you. We've got Sugar Cookie, Starlight, Tinsel and Below Zero. So they're lovely four highlights there. You've got like um, Sugar Cookie like a champagne type of colour. Starlight's got a darker, deeper like plummy looking colour to me. It might not when we swatch it. <laughs> Tinsel's got gold undertone. Below Zero is definitely a very icy shade that I probably won't use that often. So let's just swatch them. I have swatched them before for Alex's Patreon group. That's why they don't look brand new. Ooh. I do know that they are some lovely, lovely highlights, especially that tinsel shade is definitely me. The second shade's more of like a deeper, pinkier undertoned highlight. Probably won't wear it, but it looks like it would be a nice eyeshadow. Um, even the first shade, the more champagne looking one, still not a me shade. I've mainly got it for the tinsel shade. The other shades I can use as in the corner highlights, eyeshadows. We can do other things with them. But for now, you know that I'm loving that tinsel shade. This is what the Naughty palette looks like. The one thing I love about the BH collection is the fact that it looks like Christmas. It's Christmas in a palette. Whereas every, mm, someone's shouting, thank you, could you not? Whereas like other things that have come out at Christmas, I always say it, don't really have the Christmas theme, but this has it. Um, and also, new headband, what are we thinking? I'm not too sure. I don't like this. Like, do you know what? There's a color underneath from the actual band and it looks so much nicer. If I take this off, you'll see the stitching. So yeah, um, but new headband anyway. But this is what, it actually has naughty written all across there. But this is what the palette, it's massive this palette, absolutely massive. And there's so many mats in there and the names like Snow Day, Mold, Jingle Bells, Yuletide, Candy Cane, Rudolph, Secret Santa, Cole, Very Merry. You've got your greens, you've got your purples, you've got your reds, you've got your neutrals. You've got everything you could ever need for a Christmas palette in this palette. I would swatch them, but I'm not sure. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's just swatch this palette for you. But before we do that, let me just show you what the nice palette looks like. So obviously it's like a white mini version of the big red palette. It's got the other way around, a white background with the red design all over it. And then some gold in there as well. You've got to have a bit of gold, don't you? This one says nice, but it actually has a mirror. I know the big palette don't have a mirror, but you know what? I'd rather it not because holding up big palettes when you're trying to do your makeup is really hard so a little palette with a mirror is fine but a big palette with a mirror is just too much you've got some neutrals you've got some pops of blues you've got some golds you've got like a plummy burgundy sh well berry shade and the names again ginger snap sprinkles carol carolus i can't speak ever in videos carolers winter snowball angel sleigh cookie cider cinnamon so many like christmas related words in there I'm not sure how much they will cost because they keep going on sale so what i will do is towards the end of the video when I'm like doing the final touches of my makeup I will google it and then put prices well let you know the prices towards the end we're gonna start off with the first row which has a couple of shimmers and two kind of neutrally colors oh they're so soft I love BH palettes I just absolutely love them Ooh, see BH oh, they're so soft and then we've got the last shade The next row, it is raining outside so forgive me if you can hear it but I like the sound of rain when I'm inside. And then the last shade was a little bit more drier but it's still nice. 
the next row that shimmer is so soft and then I've got the purple as well now we've got the fourth row don't they just scream Christmas colors to you let's do the fifth row here just one swipe and the last row some of these shimmers are swatching so soft when you do that they've got the glitters in there but those are the types of glitters that are probably going to need a glitter glue unlike that revolution pro glitter, um, glitter from the revolution pro adorn palette that palette okay oh look at them just swatched so well a couple of the mattes are very dry like the red one is quite dry and this one down here this burgundy was a bit dry but they're very pigmented let's go in with mold first I'm not gonna keep this neutral I feel like purple or pink today even though it's a Christmas palette maybe we could go a bit more reds maybe And I want to go in with this shade here called Yuletide. There is kickback in the pan, but it's working. Like, it's blending out really nice. Then Candy Cane. such an easy palette to play with we're going to take this shade brick right in the corner and really deepen it up be careful it is pretty pigmented The shade is a little bit harder to work with, like to blend out you really have to play with it a bit more. I'm looking for like a red shimmer, there isn't one, but there is one in the Jolly palette. Jolly, nice palette called Jolly. It's, oh I think it's just, uh, it's not a shimmer, it's a matte. Yeah, it's just a matte. Um, we're going to go for this shade here called Spiked Cider. I think, yeah, it's a berry toned colour. Ooh. Ooh, guys. This is so foiled. There's a lot of fallout. I didn't need to put as much on the brush as I did. Go in with a, a lighter hand, I'm telling you. In, it is so pigmented. Oh, I've been doing a lot of matte brow bones at the moment so I want to go in with something a bit shimmery and I feel like this shade at the top called Cheers is just that. Oh, yes it definitely is. I'm going to take a clean brush because that's a shimmery colour and it's gone into the tra uh, transition shade. I'm going to take that transition shade mould that we use firstly and just blend it out. I only want to take the tiniest bit just to blend it a bit looking a bit like a sunset eye you know I feel like this eye is blended so much better than this eye okay I'm gonna do my glitter on this eye I'm gonna do wing liner so a bit base and come back for some bronzer my base has been the same at the moment so there's really no point in showing you until I change it up to be fair but it is just my NYX Honey Dreamy Up MUA Pro Base Foundation 
and either my True Match powder or my Rev Pro CC powder because my Rimmel Stay Matte powder is in my makeup bag to take when I go to work. So yeah, that is just Camera. what rudely cut me off. So that is just what I've been using and I'm just going to do all of that and come back to you. Now I will cut the camera off. How did I forget that I had BH Cosmetic Face Palettes? I have the Weekend uh, Vibes Belgium Waffle Palette. I even have the Bellini Palette. So we're going to use some of this for my bronzer and for my blush. We're going to use this shade here called Batter. It's a very subtle bronzer. I forgot about that. I like it. You can really build this bronzer up. Then from the blush palette, I want to go in with this shade here, which is called Piece of Cake. Of course, it's highlight time and we have to use tinsel. I can't believe I've just realised it has a mirror, which is insane. Are we ready? Oh, it's very glittery. It is falling everywhere. I should have dusted some of that off. That was my fault. Guys. I think I'm going to take Sugar Cookie as my inner corner highlight. I never do a cooler toned highlight for my inner corner. So we're going to have to do it today. Just for you guys. Under my eyes I want to go really warm and I want to start off with Brick. I haven't used one of these in a very long time. The Barry M High Vis Liners and this is in Dangerous. Got to use it. I want to blend out that purple brick shade with a little bit of mould just to tie it all in together. If you know me, two shades on my waterline is just insane. So guys, I actually just looked on Beauty Bay and saw that it was limited edition. I actually did hear that it was limited edition, so you probably can't get your hands on it. But if you do have your hands on it, then I'm sure this tutorial you can follow so easily. Just want to let you know that I did use the lip liner by Beauty Bay in Vintage. I used it in my recent Revolution Pro Adorn Palette review with the lipstick in Spice. I absolutely love this combination. And obviously got to use my chocolate dip mascara. I've got Baby Ardell lashes on at the moment. Um, so that is everything extra on my face. Let's get into the review. So this actually did retail for $24.50, which I think is a bloody bargain. There's 30 shades in here for £25, near enough, and it's massive. It's not like the shade pans are tiny, they are mahusive. So I reckon it is worth the $24.50. Like if I paid that price tag again, I wouldn't be mad. I know that I had a discount code at the time. I'm just going to say, I think it, they emailed me a discount code or something. So, um, yeah, I did have a discount code at the time. The pigmentation is incredible. The, the, the shimmers, let's talk about the shimmers for a second. The shimmers are incredible. There's a nice matte to shimmer ratio in here as well. There's a lot of nice mattes in here. And there's like, I love the fact that they've done it in like little sections. So you've got some neutrals, you've got some reds, some purples, some more like orangey warmer tones down here. So you can create a nice Christmas look with any kind of tone that you want to. This palette is gorgeous and I absolutely love it and would recommend it if it came out again for £24.50. That is amazing. Just to let you know that this was, I think £12.50. 
I think again is a decent price. I haven't used it, haven't tried it, but I assume the quality should be as good as the big palette. If not, I'm upset. Let's just talk about this palette. This is my favourite. This was £14.50 for four highlighters by BH. They are absolutely stunning. I, I literally lost for words. I absolutely love the shades in here. I would actually probably, if I got any paler, or even if I didn't, I probably could use this shade here called Sugar Cookie. Don't think I'd ever use Below Zero or Starlight. They're just too, one's too pink, one's too icy. Not my kind of shades for my skin tone. But other than that, I love this palette. I love the whole collection and I love the packaging. It just screams Christmas and we're getting so close guys. Like just, do you know what? Please write in the comments down below if you've gotten to this part of the video, thank you. Please write in the comments, um, what one thing you're really really looking forward to me roast potatoes roast potatoes it has to be roast potatoes they are my absolute fave so highly recommend everything pigmentation is amazing the blending was seamless everything about it was good the shimmers have wowed me absolutely love this collection so if you like this video please smash it huge thumbs up subscribe down below and i will see you soon and don't forget to enter my giveaway that just went live on friday which should be yesterday <laughs> i will see you soon guys bye Merry Christmas!